than this morning. Tie again. There's that bit of clack and wood I was playing with yesterday. Look right there. That's how much it's gone up. Bet those logs I uh I managed to see I've had another wash out anyway. I can't really see them. I'm on the wrong side of the island to see them, but the fire guard's still there, but see this bit now seems to be lower than the actual beach you can see the stone beach is still a good three foot up out of the water all that side so the reason why i don't camp on that is one because there's no decent hammock trees and two because if this bit floods to a certain point and you're over there you can't get back to land and it could just flood the island and because there's no hammock trees or decent trees, you can't really climb up them to save yourself. There's my bridge. It's like literally like not even a foot off of it. Like half a foot. It's going to rain again through the rest of today and a bit tonight. So that should give it like another 12 hours to go down. So that's like... Sunday night I'll have to check the weather again that is ridiculous Sam <laughs> this is when you think oh yeah boasting about Mother Nature leaving us the logs and then uh, go home and come back the next morning and there's a chance she's took them away I'll give us even more again see that's why I camp here because it's just renewal of woods all the time and you're not you know, you're not isolated to one little set of woods where the wood's going to run out if you burn too much or, you know, the amount of cooking we do and camping we do, you need somewhere that's going to replenish its stocks regularly. And these spots are just awesome. If you use them correctly, you know, you don't, you don't want to be trying to get across there now and camping knowing there's more rain coming because that would be foolish. But to every low camp I've got, I've got a, a one higher up in the woodland. So, yeah. Sorry mate, you can't go across there today. It's just ridiculous, you get washed away. Look at the life in this woodland, eh? This was flooded like maybe two weeks ago. All the wild garlic starting to come up now. There's loads of it. All the paths are still like slightly flooded.
fields just littered with wood. The river's way over there, so it brings wood. I'll show you a log that it's brought in, like in a bigger flood. All this wood here washed up in the rivers, the other side of them trees, and like that, a bit down. It's obviously years old. Look at that. And these here, there's a stump. This log here, about seven years ago, that log was at the the beach camp where I used to have the little stone walls and it's washed up here now it's because there's a channel going right through here low land so when the river bursts its banks there it rushes into here and that's obviously uh, where it's left that right, loads of it just piled up against these trees here and you can eat these trees even a lot of them you'll see like I'll show you a brilliant for instance you go into a woodland and you see a tree with see how you get into certain parts of the woodland where they've all got bends in the bottom of the trunks see I think they'll grow at an angle all of them that's where the high currents hit them and they've had to grow through the water Not all of them are like that, the younger ones aren't like that. Some of the older ones are though. Like a lot of them at the point of the wood are like that. Then I suppose imagine if you if you cut all the trees down. You could narrow it down to which years it had to grow through the water. There's a good one there, look at that. Like we're almost at the point of the woods, so the river, you see the river there, will come speeding across here at high speed and it just hit this woodland. And see, like the, a lot of the trees have just got crooks in the bottom. Like that one there, that's took a force, but then there's a younger tree behind it, and then that's coming out of it, a younger growth coming off of it. It's pretty cool. That's straight, so that must have been after the water went down. It's pretty much where the crook is, too. You can see against the trees against the bottom and just where the water's hit them and left loads of debris.